Yeah, I'm leaving you in there, pal. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. No. Let me out. No. I can't take that chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let oh. me out. Let me out. Oh, it reminds me of my college days. Don't ask. All right. Uh, this way. Negative contact, Shepard. Yes, I'm aware of that. That's why my gun is not out. If there were contacts, I would have a gun out. Oh, Liara. Let's stare at both their butts. Ha <laughs> ha! Double time! Okay, that was wrong. I'm sorry. Oh! I don't know what you hit me with, but- Ow! I cracked a knuckle. Um. Take that, punk. Ah! Hey, better gun. <laughs> There we go. Alright. Let's keep moving. Oh. No? No quick save? I need to quick save. Let me quick save. Oh, there's enemies over there. Aha! Oh, I shot him in the groin. And him in the head. I don't know which is worse. A what? Come on! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was like, come on! I need my pistol back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! There. Whoa! Okay, then. That wasn't creepy at all. Oh, yeah. Pistol. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Much. Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying on. Name is or that? Worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Uh, how do I know he hasn't done that already? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you do not even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian Tessa. Like watching too much television. But there's collateral damage, too. At least that's what my parents told me. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to yeah, me. Yeah, that's about the time I would put in my resignation and leave. 
at night time when no one can see me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Oh. Indoctrination is subtle. That's a By twist. the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Saren's not in charge. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Man, I know a lot of religious groups that would like to get their hands on that. Not naming any names or anything. Alright, uh... Get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. Really fast? What? You can't. But I'll never... Ha ha ha. I did. Every second of it. All right, let's go. Eh. I don't really need any more weapons. Yeah, you get to a point in this game where it's like, I don't even need the lockers anymore. I'm rich. I have all the weapons I need. I don't even want to waste the time with the mini game. Let's go to Saren's private lab. I bet he's got monkeys down there. He set the monkeys free. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Um, not that I doubt you or anything, darling, but how would you know that? You weren't on Eden Prime. Don't, don't touch it. Remember what happened last time? Oh, Shepard, you're like a little child. Oh, you're just a shiny. See? No remorse for you. Okay, then. Shall we go? I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. You are very what observant. Is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. You need to stop I do smoking. Not think this is a VI. It is messing up your voice. There is a realm Existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. New Jersey? I am beyond your comprehension. Oh, he's from New Jersey. I am sovereign. Uh, what? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You could not have been there. It's impossible. Yeah. Because only the Thorian could have done that. nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. We run on energizer batteries. Uh, I'll stop you. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle arrogance, actually. Be broken. It was born of arrogance. Get cycle? It right. What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. 
They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. That's sneaky. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They are harvesting us. Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? Peach tea? I can really My use some. My kind them. transcends your very understanding. More batteries? We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Where did you come from? No, hey, hey. Who built we have oh, no there beginning. Kind of... We have no end. That was the right one. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. I didn't think machines were supposed to be arrogant. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Dude, I wasn't even listening at the beginning.